songbirds. Let's talk about how to read a chord chart. This is a chord chart. They're fairly simple to read since they represent the neck of a guitar like this. This dark line represents your nut. These horizontal lines here are your frets. And these vertical lines here are your strings. Low E or sixth string, A or fifth string, D or fourth string, G or third string, B or second string, and high E or first string. These circles represent the fingers, first or pointer finger, second or middle finger, third or ring finger, and fourth or pinky finger. These X's and O's represent which strings are played and which are not. X's are strings that are not played, and O's are strings that are played open. Right on. Let's learn your first chord, E. These numbers in the round circles represent which fingers you're going to use to make the chord. According to the chart, we're going to use your first finger or pointer, second finger or middle, and third finger or a ring finger. First place your pointer finger on the first fret, third string, your middle finger on the fifth string, second fret, ring finger on the second fret, fourth string. Does your chord look like this? Check out the circles on the E chord chart. These mean that you strum all the strings open. Go ahead and strum all your strings. It should sound like this. Keep at it until you get all the strings to ring out clearly. If you hear any buzzing or muting, adjust your fingers until you find the sweet spot. Good luck!